I went to see Birth of a Nation today, and it's an excellent film, excellent acting, everything. It's perfect. Right at the end, they should have ended it after they killed all the white people in the movie. They should have ended it right there and brought up all the titles and then maybe mention, okay, later on, um, years later or whatever, um, Nat Turner was hung. They could have done it that way, but they didn't do it that way because white people still had to be in charge at the end. So they showed Nat Turner walking alone into the town. You know he wouldn't have been alone walking into the town because after they killed all the white people, then they showed him like in a small group of black people um, fighting against the white people. And you know on the plantation there's like many black people, many black slaves on the plantation. So it would have been, the number would have been larger. So how would Nat Turner be the only one left and then he would have to walk into the town alone and let the white people beat him up. And then they publicly hung him after that. So, you know, that, that part was too much. I said, you know, I said, I'm not going to give these people the satisfaction of watching him getting hung. I'm not going to do that. After they killed all the white people, and killing and beating up all the slaves and everything, I said, I'm not going to sit here through this last part. So I'm not going to sit here and just cry. I'm not going to sit there and do it. But I just couldn't take it. I just started crying. I had like an outburst of tears. And I had to leave up out of there right at the end. So if I were you, I would leave right after they kill white folks. That's what I would do. Anyway, or you would be sitting up in there crying. That was an excellent film. Very good film. Now we know that martial law was created in 1558. Don't believe me? Go look it up, okay? Go look it up. We're not dealing with your funky ass opinion or what you think. We're dealing with facts. Now, why was martial law created in 1558 if there was no America until 1776, you say, Pharaoh? Because slavery started in 1555, not 1619 like they had you to believe. And martial law was set in stone so that if the slaves ever resisted, all the Europeans will come together to stop the revolt. Now, why is this important? Because about 500, maybe 400 some years later, 2016, no, about 300 something and some noise. No, yeah, no, about maybe about 400. Today, from 1555 to today, the word slave, when Abraham Lincoln allegedly freed the slaves, which he did, the black men broke out of slavery due to what's called the Gullah Wars. Go look that up. Black people, we freed ourselves. The black men escaped from slavery formed the military, and kept running up on fucking plantations, killing everybody. And white people were so scared, they said, literally, the black man will not stop until his people are free. So that's why they freed us, because the motherfuckers couldn't sleep at night because we was running up on plantations, killing everything and freeing everybody. So they just freed us and then lied and said they did it in the form of the, uh, the, the Emancipation Proclamation, the 13th Amendment. So understand that we freed ourselves by getting it popping. And that's the only way we're ever going to get free. The reality is that there was a series of battles, revolts, and rebellions that lasted from 1739 to 1858. This was the Gullah Wars. That is more than 100 years of warfare totally hidden from the American history books. A lot of this history was disguised as the Seminole Wars. First of all, the Seminoles were not a real Native American tribe. They were Native Americans allied with and often led by Black Africans. Seminole literally means runaway. Maroon means fugitive. Gullah refers to the black Africans. The Emancipation Proclamation was a staged event, and it was designed to stop and historically hide the self-liberation process of Africans in America. Africans were brought into the Anglo-American New World Order, and many of these Africans maintained the goal to kill, crush, and destroy white supremacy. 1739, the Gullah War begins. Carolina was about to pass the Security Act, which would require whites to be armed more often to prevent the slave uprising. So the slaves decided that this was the time to strike. 
About 20 of them went to the local store, stocked up on guns and ammo, killed the shopkeeper, and began the Stono Rebellion. The rebels marched, and as they marched, their following grew larger and larger. They chanted out liberty as they marched, chasing the slave owners, killing them, and burning their houses down. After the rebellion, South Carolina passed the Negro Act, which prevented a future rebellion by limiting the rights of the slaves. From that point in time until 1812, the Gullah were fighting continuous battles against the state militia in Florida. Spain was fighting against the American colonists for land in Florida. The Spanish started arming the Gullah and providing them with military training. The Gullah used this military equipment and training to defend their own free, independent black towns. The first black town in North America was called Garcia Real de Santa Teresa de Mose. It was built by the black man and officially recognized later by the Spanish Lieutenant General Montiano in 1738. This black town was a place that slaves could escape to to have their own land and receive military training. Wasn't that fascinating? The Gullah Wars. You must look that up on YouTube. Anyway, so the conspiracy theorists and racists are saying that Obama is the last president. The Black Knight is the last president. Some people call him Satan, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, anyway, we know all the racist stories. So if that's the case, and we know we're getting towards the end, so who do we see as Christ today? Well, I see Pharaoh Allah, because all of his videos are magnificent. Nobody can touch them. He learns from all of us and everything and everyone. He is magnificent. He is to me the Christ being. And let's see. Instead of the teachers getting mad and angry, you know, being jealous over him, we need to be writing everything he says and also writing down what the general said he says as well. Okay, they said they don't have, um, um, neither one of them have books. We need to help them. We need to volunteer ourselves to help them. Um, we need to do that and teach our babies because Pharaoh Allah, he's, He's got so many outstanding videos, so does the general. And of course, my love, my true love, Dr. Kelly Muhammad. So, let's listen to Pharaoh and the general setting. And let's tone down on the cussing, please, so we can fit the bill of the Messiahs. Amen. I'll shave. 